The sun is a vital link of man and the universe. Since prehistory, he has looked upon the sun as the source of life itself. Through the millennia, he has harnessed its energy into food by farming. Today, he has devised new ways of transforming the sun's energy into electricity. All of a sudden, solar cells made of silicon can light up homes far from the reaches of the electric grids of civilization. He has realized that one key is to shift the sources of renewable energy, sun, wind, water. In the island of Palawan in the Philippines, solar energy is a critical solution to not just environmental but also social problems. It has the ability to uplift the poorest of the poor. The remote village of Dendig in the Dumaran municipality is a bumpy eight-hour trip from the capital of Puerto Princesa. <laughs> small village diesel generators supplied by the local government is only from 6 to 10 in the evening. Wala kami maibili ng gas. Kaminsan medyo madilim yung gabi para sa amin. Ito pang lantern na talagang safe talaga sa bahay. At hindi mo nabibiliin pa yung dapat maging pure ng Petromax o ano man dyan. Dahil kumuka na ka na lang sa araw. Tawag sa amin yan dito, kinky, yung maliliit na kwan. Tapos pag mahangin, hindi kami maka makapagsindi. Lagi sindi, patay sindi, madilim. Pero nung dumating ang solar dito sa amin, Maganda na kahit na ano, dinadalaya namin sa labas. The advantage of the solar lantern from India is portability. Unlike earlier models using heavy car batteries transported to distant recharging stations, portable solar lanterns have their own built-in chargers. Nagamit ko namin yung lantern pagkagaling ng lambat po sa laot. Pagtapos pag dito na sa aplaya, pang ilaw po namin para pagtanggal ng isda sa lambat. Mayroon din po sa pag-igib, madilim, kasi ngayon krisis ng tubig. Malaki po yung paginabang namin dyan. Walang tubig yan sila, magising na daladala yung mga solar, solar lantern nila mm -hmm. doon sa balon. Ma madaling araw yon Ano oras yung pag-igib nila? Alas Dos, hindi din nadala ng asawa niyo sa laot yung ano ha? Hindi po, susubukan pa lang po, kaya lang hindi pa nagpahuli yung, mm -hmm. yung pusit. Babalutin, Babalutin nyo ng plastic. Yun. Ng plastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tapos mayroon kami islok, binili ko rin nun. Magkano ang hulugan nyo? 400 po yung monthly ko. 400? Okay lang, nakakabayad ka. Minsan po, hindi makabot ng 400, pero pagdating na may pera ako, tinatapalan. Oh. Ang barangay kulas yan, oh. barangay magsaysay, ah, humahanga din po sila sir na gano'n kasi mahirap nga dun yung ilaw dahil sa kuryente ng barangay, hindi nila yun inaasahan. Nung hindi nakakuha, may nagatanong pa kung kailan daw darating uli yung mga, bago. mga bagong supply kasi daw sila magkuha pa. Dinala sila mga ano ng mga Petromax, mga gas, dinala sila mm. ng gastos. Kasi malaki ito, tinutulong nito sir. Nagagamitin nila sa konti nilang hanap buhay tulad ng sa dagat, sa pagkuha ng bala. We are all 
well aware the World Bank supports uh, uh, the rural power sector reform, the, the Department of Energy. Uh, our trust is to achieve total electrification in a sustainable and holistic manner. And that is where the Rural Power Project of DOE, which is a co-funding from the World Bank and uh, the Global Environment Facility. We need to devise instrument in which the poorest of the poor in all the community are provided with adequate, clean and sustainable power supply. And that is where the solar lantern, which is now being the main business, I, I believe, of SURE, is really a great uh, contribution in the attainment of this program, which is also an important factor in meeting our uh, mitigation uh, on the climate change. Sure, as you know, is uh, solutions using renewable energy, and uh, our company is founded on a 3P principle, which is uh, power, people, and planet. So looking at the Philippines, we have seen that uh, there is a big demand for renewable energy. What our strategy is to enter on the first level basis, which is for solar lanterns on a rural household level, and slowly expand that product line to other applications. We have three basic lines, solar, biogas, and mini hydro. Uh, solar dryers is a classic example in Palawan which uh, is used as a livelihood component uh, basically replacing diesel fuel or other biomass uh, fuel. Former members of people's organizations are commissioned by the Palawan Center for Appropriate Rural Technology or PCART to plant medicinal herbs in their backyards. The dried herbs are sold to Manila buyers who capsulize them into organic medicine. Picard has six herbal dryers and plans to get one more. They plant a variety of local medicinal herbs. Picard is replacing stainless steel ovens with tough bricks made from thermite hill soil. Ay yung palaho ang solar, no? Ayon, may meron hong kuryente yan papunta yan sa batin ng yan. Kinakarga niya ng kuryente para siyang magamit ng elektrika. Tubo sa loob, tubo na stainless. Ang hangin ng elektrika siya yung dumadaan doon sa this is a service that was instituted by PNNI for the communities that we support. No, because we know very well that the amount of help that is needed, the amount of help that is needed for the elderly, for the young students, Palawan is one of the highest sellers of lanterns of renewable energy. We are happy that even though there is a subsidy na inilalabas sa, para sa solar lantern. Pero ang isa pa namin kailangang maging uh, gawain eh kung paano namin ito papadalin. Dahil ang consumer natin, alam natin eh, mula sa rural areas. Eh, wala talaga silang cash to give. So, yung organisasyon namin, ang bayad sa amin eh sa pamamagitan ng kanilang produkto. We provide financial and technical assistance, NGOs, community-based organizations. As, as Paul has said, they have been egging us to be involved in uh, bringing renewable energy to the poorest communities and accessibility, availability of technology. And that is what SURE uh, has brought us, particularly through the solar lanterns. We really saw its opportunity. Sun, sun.